I think it's awesome that this conference has been here for 10 years. It's an outstanding asset to the community, a national level conference on a, on a regional basis. Congratulations. When I think of Gateway to Innovation, I think how much a part of the IT community it has become over the past 10 years. Congratulations on a wonderful 10 years and looking forward to another great 10 years for the Gateway to Innovation. The conference has come a long way and is now regarded as one of the preeminent technological conferences in the St. Louis area. We've been a part of the G2I conference now for 10 years. And what we love about this conference at Express Scripts is two things. One, it is a local venue where we can send large numbers of our staff to participate and learn with all the great topics that are presented. Second off, G2I has been giving back to the community. And doing those kinds of things in St. Louis is truly meaningful to our community. So congratulations on 10 great years. Looking forward to another great year this year. Thank you. The first secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security was in St. Louis today. Tom Rich spoke at the Gateway to Innovation Conference about cybersecurity. After security breaches at places like Target and Home Depot, this topic hits close to home in St. Louis. In addition to this conference, Webster University will also host a panel discussion addressing cybersecurity and cyber insurance. We're very proud to be part of uh, Gateway to Innovation. Uh, for 10 years, uh, we've seen the benefits of uh, this forum, not only in our community, but across uh, the entire country. As a technology company, Massacre put a lot of uh, focus on uh, innovation, safety, security, and uh, consumer uh, services. So Gateway to Innovation is a great forum for us to uh, share ideas and at the same time to, uh, pick up uh, new ones. So congratulations for 10 uh, great years and for more to come. Thank you. G2I has been great at helping us stay connected with the local IT community in St. Louis. I think the last 10 years with Gateway to Innovation has really created a ability in St. Louis for people to gather and talk about what's going on from an innovative perspective in town and across the country. When I was in St. Louis, I really enjoyed participating in the Gateway to Innovation Conference. I loved the CIO networking event the night before and certainly the conference, which was a great array of speakers and really good insights. What I find really important with the Gateway to Innovation is the amount that it gives back to the community in the way of IT grants, educational scholarships, and really supporting the STEM initiatives. So congratulations, Gateway, on your 10th anniversary. On behalf of Office Administration, I want to congratulate G2I on a fantastic 10 years.
pleased to have the 10 year anniversary for Gateway to Innovation. It's, Monsanto's benefited tremendously from Gateway to Innovation from a networking perspective, from a technology interchange, from the ability to look at different ways we can apply technology in our business segments. So I look forward to the next 10 years for Gateway to Innovation. Oh, we are so incredibly grateful. I know that commitment to building a future workforce is something that your organization is very committed to, and that's what we are doing, and you're helping us do it. I can't say thank you enough, and if I had a scholar sitting behind me, and uh, you would hear the thank yous from them. They're excited that they're able to have their own laptops. They're excited that things are happening for them that allow them to move themselves forward, and it's just a big thank you. For the attendees of the conference, I think the Give Back um, program is absolutely wonderful. It has allowed us to take great strides. First St. Louis is among those receiving a Gateway to Innovation Award today. The group inspires young people to get interested in science and technology through mentoring programs and robotics and Lego competitions. The nonprofit even brought a sample of its work to Gateway to Innovation. They gave out a total of $75,000 in grant money today to nonprofit and education programs that support the advancement of technology. IT Entrepreneur Network, the Hawthorne Leadership School for Girls, the Technology Entrepreneur Center, Special Olympics, and Boys Hope Girls Hope also received grants. So the funding from the Gateway to Innovation Conference has helped us to grow the resources that we can offer to our startup companies and to our entrepreneurs. Gateway Innovation has been fantastic for I-10. Um, in addition to be able to support us with some, some monetary donations off the conference, um, there's, the actual concept of innovation is integral to what we do in the startup community. And to see the, the, the conference really promote that with a whole host of different companies to see the clientele that they bring, the breakout sessions, has really been eye-opening and really been instructive as we go back and work with our startup companies to try to get them to innovate and potentially become vendors for these corporations that come to Gateway Innovation. The potential is, is enormous and, and part of that is because we're, we're dealing with a problem that, that is, exists everywhere. I feel pretty excited. I worked pretty hard. I actually looked at it last night, I looked at my application and read through my essay and I was pretty proud of it even to this day, six years later. Um, I was really excited about my education and excited to apply for something that would be supportive of that. I just really appreciate them giving us, the people like myself, um, UMSL graduates, the opportunity to get this scholarship. And I, I just thank you, I really do. It was really cool to learn that I was one of the recipients and even more than that being able to um, go to the Gateway to Innovation Conference that was really impactful for me because I was able to talk to people different companies around the area and really get more of like the real world what's going on in technology versus just like a textbook in a classroom that's been published you know t five to ten years ago and this was really cool to listen to speakers and people who are really high up in the world of technology. Becoming a Sim Scholar provided me the confidence I needed to bring my communication and business skills to the technical field. My inspiration in applying for the scholarship came from an article in the Wall Street Journal featuring women CIOs. 
This article helped me to see how my unique skill set would play successfully in the IT field. And I did it. I've been working at GE Healthcare in IT for five years. Today, I look for opportunities that allow me to share my passion of IT with other young women, hopefully giving them the confidence to pursue a technical career. I would say the biggest thing that it meant to me was it just it got me thinking about after school. It got me thinking about what kind of organizations um, I want to go into. And I'm going to be going into a community. If I want to go into IT, I'm going to be going into a community. And I need to start networking and getting in that community even before you leave school. So I was a graduate student and selected to receive the scholarship. I was very grateful for that. And basically what it allowed me to do is take off some of the burden of having to pay tuition out of pocket. Um, it covered about 25% of my tuition for two semesters. And that allowed me to focus on pursuing an internship, getting the skills I needed in place to be able to, for me, transition careers from uh, the nonprofit sector into the corporate world uh, in IT. It's never too late to go back to school. You know, I, I went back to school in my later years in life. So if you want to go back to school and further your career or finish your career or your education, it's never too late at any age. Their ability to connect organizations like the St. Louis Community College Foundation and our students to career opportunities, to seasoned professionals, and to networking within the industry is just remarkable. And the 10th year of the Gateway Innovation Conference to me really demonstrates how the Midwest has become a central hub of technology and innovation. It allows all the people in the, in the area uh, to get together and talk about all those new innovative events and the contributions that they're making in every one of their industries. It's fantastic to see the level of growth and to see that you can actually grow your company here in St. Louis. The amount of resources that have developed to support entrepreneurs and, and startup companies, particularly in the tech space, here in St. Louis has really been astonishing to see. In terms of the uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem in St. Louis, we were just, St. Louis was re recently ranked number one by Business Insider in the amount of uh, venture capital investment um, in the nation. So we grew uh, last year um, nearly 350% in the amount of capital that's been raised by companies involved in uh, entrepreneurship in the St. Louis region. T2I support has helped us connect with companies to help them fill their needs, help more people in our community get access to apprenticeships and job opportunities in tech, and has also helped fund people getting 
free education that has changed their lives dramatically. An example of that is that the typical person who gets an apprenticeship through Launch Code, after the apprenticeship makes 308% of what they made beforehand, which is, it, it changes their entire life. It's a paradigm shift in, in their reality and, and it's because of you know, working with like G2I that we're able to fund education that they participate in and also help people access these apprenticeships. And at the end of the day, it also works for the employers who are working with G2I as well. Simply put, an innovation renaissance is taking place throughout the St. Louis region. We're at a very special and unique time in St. Louis's history. KPMG and CB Insights produced their first quarter data. Again, venture capital was down around the United States as a trend in the first quarter. But again, not in St. Louis where this renaissance is taking place. Coming on top of a blockbuster year for venture capital last year, we were up 327% for funded deals year over year. That is incredible growth. That's the renaissance that's taking place throughout this region. a region is nothing more than the choices we decide to make and I am so excited um, that the, the leaders from G2I have made the choice to embrace innovators, science and technology as the choice they're making to make St. Louis the kind of region that is prosperous, that is home to innovators, that supports new ideas and job creation for the future.